Hello, I'm Vivian Nassif. Today, you will learn how to use the money of the United States. 10, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You will learn how to ask for the prices of things. How much is this necklace? $25.50. You will also learn how to ask for locations inside a store. Excuse me, where are the restrooms? They're in the back. Thank you. Now let's see how Miguel is doing at the Main Street Cafe. Watch and listen. Miguel! What? Oh, oh, sorry. Who are you thinking about? Jane. Jane? It's her birthday on Saturday. Yes. Do you have a present for her? Oh, no. I need a special present. Well, how about flowers? Well, right now she has my flowers from Valentine's Day. Oh, that is so romantic. Well, well, how about chocolate? No. Chocolate can make you fat. I know. A necklace. It's the perfect present, and women love it. Good idea. A necklace for Jane's birthday. Ryan, a necklace is a great gift, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a wonderful present, and any girl loves a necklace. Where can I find a necklace? We sell necklaces at the hair salon where I work. Of course, this one is old. I need a new necklace. That necklace looks okay to me. We'll learn more about the necklace later. Now let's join Miguel and the other students at the English class. Good evening, class. Good evening, Mrs. Marcus. Today, I want to talk about this. What is this? Money. money. Very good. I see you already know. Do you like money? Oh, yeah. Lots of money. Oh, yeah. Lots of money. Me too. Teacher, can you give us some money? <laughs> I'm sorry, Luis, but we need this for the class. Now let's take a look at the board and learn the names of money in the United States. Money, 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 money. This is a penny. A penny is one cent. This is a nickel. A nickel is five cents. This is a dime. A dime is ten cents. This is a quarter. A quarter is 25 cents. This is a half dollar. A half dollar is 50 cents. This is a dollar. This is five dollars. This is ten dollars. This is twenty dollars. This is fifty dollars. This is a hundred dollars. Money, 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 money. Okay, Miguel, can you tell me what this is? A penny. Yes, and how much is it? One cent. Good. Ying Li, what's this? A quarter. Uh-huh. And how much is it? 25 cents. Excellent. Shagraj, what's this? A dime. Yes. And how much is it? 10 cents. Very good. Yingli, how much is this? Mm, a dollar. Very good. A dollar. Celia, how much is this? $50. Yes. 
$50. Very good, class. I see you like learning about money. Now it's your turn. Look at the picture and answer my questions. What's this? A nickel. How much is it? Five cents. Very good. Now, what's this? A quarter. How much is it? Yes, 25 cents. Nice work, everyone. Let's go back to the classroom. Okay, class, let's practice some more. Lana, how much is this? 75 cents. Good. Jane, how much is this? 60 cents. Very good. Ying Li, how much is this? 4 cents. Very nice. And Jagrash, how much is this? 25 cents. Very good. Now let's learn how to write amounts of money. This is how we write 25 cents. This is a dollar sign, and this is how many cents? This is four dollars and thirty-six cents. On the left, we have dollars, and on the right, we have cents. This is fifty-seven dollars and ninety-two cents. This is one hundred dollars and five cents. How much is this, Jagrash? Two dollars and sixty-five cents. Good. Luis, how much is this? Forty-two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Very good. Lana, how much is this? Sixty-five dollars and ninety-eight cents. Miguel, how much is this? Seventy-five dollars and eighty cents. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Now it's your turn. How much is this? It's two dollars and 65 cents. Good. Let's try another. How much is this? $42.98. How much is this? $10.98. Very good. Let's try one more. How much is this? $65.50. Very nice. Okay, class, let's practice with real money. I need a volunteer. Celia, please come up to the desk. Stand right here so they can see you. Okay, show me a dime. Good. Show me a dollar and a nickel. Good. Now show me five dollars and twenty-five cents. Five dollars? Twenty-five cents. Excellent. Okay, now... How much is this? Twenty dollars, fifty cents, and ten cents, sixty cents, and one cent, sixty-one cents. Twenty dollars and sixty-one cents. Excellent. Good job, Celia. Now I want you to practice. Look at the money and tell me how much it is. Ready? 
How much is this? Good. It's five dollars and twenty-five cents. How much is this? Yes, seventy-five dollars and seventy cents. How much is this? Good. It's twenty-two dollars and sixty-three cents. Good work, everybody. You're learning a lot about money. Now let's watch some people at the salon. Listen for the prices. Hi. Can I help you? Yes. Um, how much is this black necklace? The black necklace is fifteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Fifteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's expensive. Um, what about this white necklace? The white necklace is thirty-five dollars and ninety-five cents. Thirty-five dollars and ninety-five cents. Mm-hmm. That's very expensive. <laughs> um, may I try this bracelet on? Of course. How much is this bracelet? That bracelet is eight dollars and fifty cents. That's a great deal. <laughs> With tax, nine dollars and twenty cents. Nine dollars and twenty cents. Now let's go back to the class and learn some more English. Now we know about money. Let's practice asking for prices. When we want to know the price, we ask how much. Repeat, how much? How much? Good. Now look at the board and answer my questions. How much is this pencil? It's fifty cents. Good. Now Celia, ask Ying Li about this book. How much is this book? It's seven dollars and eighty-two cents. Good. Now Ying Li, go ahead and ask someone else. Nana, how much is this backpack? It's twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Excellent. Now it's your turn. How much is this ruler? Yes, it's one dollar and twenty-five cents. How much is this calculator? Yes, it's twelve dollars and fifty cents. Now you ask me the question. It's three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Good work. Okay, class. Let's take a look here. Yesterday I went shopping. I bought. A notebook, a ruler, some pens, and some pencils. This is a receipt. When you buy something, you get a receipt. Please repeat: receipt. Receipt. Good. Here is the receipt. Notebook, ruler, pens, and pencils. This is the sales tax. Teacher, what is sales tax? Sales tax is extra money you pay to the government. Please repeat: sales tax. Sales tax. Good, Lana. How much is the sales tax? Seventy-five cents. Very good. Now let's talk about asking for change. How many quarters are in one dollar? Jagrash. Four quarters. Yes, four quarters. When you need quarters, you ask for change. 
Let's watch some examples of people asking for change. Do you have change for a dollar? Yes, I have four quarters. Thank you. Hi, do you have four quarters for a dollar? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Here is an office supply store. They sell notebooks, pencils, calculators, backpacks, and other things we use at school or at the office. See, the notebooks are in aisle four. Let's talk about the locations in the store. This is the front entrance. It's in the front of the store. These are the restrooms. They're in the back of the store. This is the checkout. You pay here. These are aisles. There are five aisles in this store. This is aisle one. Aisle two, aisle three, aisle four, and aisle five. Let's practice the word aisle. Repeat, aisle. Aisle. The notebooks are in aisle four. Let's practice. Please repeat, aisle four. Aisle, aisle four. four. In aisle four. In aisle four. The notebooks are in aisle four. The notebooks are in aisle four. Good. Lana, where are the notebooks? The notebooks are in aisle four. Yes. We can also say they're in aisle four. Miguel, where are the notebooks? They're in aisle four. Yes, they're in aisle four. Now look at the picture again. Where are the pencils? The pencils are in aisle three. Excellent. Celia, where are the calculators? The calculators are in aisle two. Good. The calculators are in aisle two. Yingli, where are the restrooms? The restrooms are in the back. Yes, the restrooms are in the back. Shagraj, are the notebooks in aisle four? Yes, they are. Good. Jane, are the pencils in aisle five? No, they're not. They're in aisle three. Excellent. Good work, everyone. Now it's your turn to practice. Look at the picture of the office supply store and answer my questions. Where are the pencils? They're in aisle three. Where are the calculators? They're in aisle two. Where are the notebooks? They're in aisle four. Where are the restrooms? They're in the back. Good work. Now you ask me the question. They're in aisle three. They're in the back. Good work. You learned a lot in class today. Now let's watch Miguel use the English he learned. Here are the necklaces, Miguel. So many. They are all very nice. Yes. Well, take your time, Miguel, and pick the one you think is right for Jane. I like this one. Is it good for Jane? Oh, that's beautiful. Woman like this? 
Yes, Miguel. How much is this necklace? $25.50. Okay. With tax, that'll be Twenty-seven dollars and fifty-four cents. Twenty-seven dollars and fifty-four cents. I'll put it in a nice box for you. Miguel is very happy with the necklace. Now, let's talk about the lesson. Today, you learn how to use money. Twenty dollars, fifty cents, and ten cents. You also learned how to ask for prices of things. How much is this black necklace? The black necklace is fifteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Before we go, let's visit the Main Street Cafe. Remember, Miguel wants to have a party for Jane's birthday. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Mr. Jones. Look. Oh. Decorations, balloons, hats, many things for Jane's birthday. Yes. We can put the decorations in front. Um, we can put the balloons in the back. See, for Jane, for her birthday. Wow, Miguel, that's great. Let's learn about money. Listen and choose the correct price. Excuse me, how much is this calculator? It's $6.39. How much is the calculator? $6.39. Excuse me, how much are these pencils? They're $2.50. Oh. How much are the pencils? $2.50. Excuse me, how much is this ruler? It's 89 cents. How much is the ruler? 89 cents. Excuse me, how much are these pens? They're $4.67. How much are the pens? $4.67. Excuse me, how much is this notebook? It's $3.19. How much is the notebook? $3.19. Excuse me, how much is this stapler? It's $13.99. How much is the stapler? $13.99. Now let's practice some conversations. I am a customer and you work at the office supply store. Please answer my questions. Excuse me, how much is this stapler? Right, it's $11.99. Good, let's try another one. Excuse me, how much is this pencil? Yes, it's 49 cents. Good, now you be the customer and ask me the questions. Ready? Begin. It's three dollars and eighty-nine cents. Good, let's try another. Ask me the price of this item. It's a dollar twenty-five. Good work, everybody. 
keep practicing your English, and I'll see you next time.